Hello, let's talk today about the benefits of Apple. The Apple, is it good? Find out if it's worth using consuming Apple I in your day to day and in your recipes. And your 13 Apple benefits healthy. In your day to day, the Apple is the pseudofruit pomaceous apple, Malus domestica. A tree in the Rosaceae family hyperlink https colon slash slash pt dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash rosaceae backslash o rosaceae. It is one of the most cultivated tree pseudofruits and the best known of the many members of the genus Malus that are used by humans. Apples grow on small, deciduous trees that bloom in spring and bear fruit in autumn. The tree is native to Western Asia, where its wild ancestor, Malus seversii, is still found today. Apples have been cultivated for thousands of years in Asia and Europe, having been brought to North America by European settlers. Apples have been present in the mythology and religions of many cultures, including Norse, Greek and Christian traditions. In 2010, the fruit genome was decoded, leading to a new understanding of disease control and selective breeding during apple production. There are over 7,500 known apple plantations, resulting in a range of desirable traits. Greetings and welcome to Nature of the Amazon channel, I ask you to subscribe and activate the bell leave yours. Lay to strengthen the channel and share it with your friends and family so they can get to know our history of knowledge and let's go by video. Etymology Apple originated from the Latin term mala mariana, meaning Maisio's apples. History the center of the variety of the genus Malus it is in eastern Turkey. The apple tree was perhaps the oldest tree ever to have been cultivated, and its fruits have been improved with selection over thousands of years. Alexander the Great is reported to have found dwarf apples in Kazakhstan in 328 BC Those he brought back to Macedonia may have been the originators of the dwarf apple plantations. Winter apples, harvested in late autumn and stored just above freezing, have been an important food in Asia and Europe for millennia. Apples were brought to North America by settlers in the 17th century, and the first apple orchard on the North American continent was planted in Boston by Rev. William Blackston in 1625. 4. The only apples native to North America are the apples. Wild apples, which were once called common apples, five varieties of apples brought from Europe as seed were spread along Native American trade routes as well as cultivated on colonial farms. In 1845, an apple nursery catalog in the United States sold 350 of the best varieties, showing the proliferation of new North American varieties in the early 19th century. 5. In the 20th century, irrigation projects began in the eastern part of Washington state, allowing the development of a multi-billion dollar fruit industry, where the apple is the leading product. Until the 20th century, farmers stored apples in fully or partially underground warehouses during the winter for their own use or for sale. Improvements in transporting fresh apples by train and road eliminated the need for storage. In the 21st century, long-term storage again became popular as controlled atmosphere facilities were used to keep apples fresh year-round. Such facilities use high humidity, low oxygen, and controlled carbon dioxide levels to maintain fruit freshness. Nutritional Information Regular consumption of apples is excellent for keeping cholesterol levels at acceptable levels, with the recommended intake of one unit per day. This effect is due to the high content of pectin found in the bark. It also helps in the slimming process, as pectin makes it difficult to absorb fats, glucose, and eliminates cholesterol. The high potassium content contained in apple pulp releases excess sodium, eliminating excess water retained in the body. It also has medicinal properties and has beneficial effects on the heart, both due to its high potassium content and the presence of pectin which prevents the deposition of fat on the arterial wall, preventing arteriosclerosis. For all this, it improves blood circulation, thus reducing cardiac work and prolonging the life of the heart. It can be used as a kind of laxative, as it helps in the elimination of feces. It works in the following way, during digestion, it absorbs water, and, during elimination, it releases this water that has been stored, preventing the feces from drying out and causing later problems, such as constipation. The apple contains the following vitamins, B1, B2 and niacin, in addition to minerals such as phosphorus and iron. 
The apple is mostly consumed in the form of fruit or apple juice. Fermented, it is used in the production of alcoholic beverages such as cider. Asturian, the Calvados French and Basque Cigardua. There is also apple cider vinegar and apple jam. It is widely used in making pies. It is rich in quercetin, a substance that helps prevent the formation of blood clots capable of causing strokes. Apple is recommended for people with bowel problems, obesity, rheumatism, gout, diabetes, skin and nervous system disorders. Its dried bark is used as a tea to purify the blood and as a diuretic. For better use of its vitamins, the ideal is to consume it raw with the peel, because it is with it that most of its vitamins and mineral salts are found. When buying, choose the ones with a bright and accentuated color, firm flesh, heavy, without soft parts, holes or cracks. Under these conditions, it will keep for up to a month in the refrigerator. It is estimated that a typical 240G apple contains around 100 million bacteria. Most of the bacteria are in the seeds, with the flesh making up most of the rest. Studies suggest that the microbiome and antioxidant profiles of fresh produce could become standard nutrition facts, displayed alongside macronutrients, vitamins and minerals to guide consumers. Business Around 89 million tons of apples were grown worldwide in 2016, with an approximate value of $45 US dollars in gross production value. China leads the production with approximately 50% of all apple production worldwide. In second place in the ranking is the United States with about 5.2% of world production. In the United States, more than 60% of all apples sold commercially are grown in the state of Washington. Apples imported from New Zealand and other more temperate areas are competing with U.S. production and increasing each year. Most of Australia's production is for domestic consumption. Imports from New Zealand are not accepted because of a law that came into effect in 1921. In 2016, the biggest exporters of fresh apples were China, $1.35 billion, the United States, $921 million, Italy, $896 million, Chile, $751 million, and France, $586 million. The biggest importers were Germany, $472 million, the United Kingdom, $414 million, Russia, $338 million, other Asian countries, $282 million, and the United States, $273 million. Production in Brazil In 2018, Brazil produced 1.1 million tons of apples, being the 13th largest producer in the world. Production is concentrated in the three states of the southern region, Rio Grande do Sul produced 603,000 tons, Santa Catarina 586,000 tons and Parana 26,000 tons. 17, 18, the largest producing regions in Brazil are, around São Joaquim in Santa Catarina, and the region of Campos de Cima de Serra, around Vicaria, in Rio Grande do Sul, the most country cold. Between the 1990s and 2020s, production in Brazil increased by more than 6,000%. In 2020, 15% of the country's harvest was exported. The country went from importing the fruit to exporting. The main destinations for Brazilian apples in 2019 were Russia, 31%, Bangladesh, 29%, and India, 11%. Cultivated species. There are over 7,500 species and varieties of apples. The different species are found in temperate and subtropical climates, since apple trees do not flower in tropical areas, as they require a considerable number of hours of cold, which varies depending on the variety cultivated. The varieties of the Gala family, for example, need a winter with about 700 hours of cold, temperature below 7.2 degrees Celsius, to have the ideal yield at harvest. The following is a list of the most common cultivar species and where they are grown, along with the year and place of origin. Black John, Brazil. Brayburn, New Zealand, since 1950, United States. Cameo, Washington, since 1980. Cortland, New York, since the late 1890s. Cox's Orange Pippin, United Kingdom, New Zealand. Agramont Russet, Brittany. Empire, New York, since 1966. 
Fuji, Japan, since 1930, Asia, Australia, Brazil, Argentina. Gala, New Zealand, since 1970, United States, Brazil, Argentina. Ginger Gold, Virginia, late 1960s. Golden Delicious, United States, since 1890, Europe, Brazil, Argentina. Granny Smith, Australia, since 1868, California, Brazil. Honeycrisp, Minnesota, since 1960. Ida Red, Idaho, since 1942. Jonagold, New York, since 1968, and elsewhere in the United States. Jonathan, New York, since 1920, and elsewhere in the United States. Lodi, Ohio. Macintosh, Canada, since 1811. Newtown Pippin, New York, since 1759, Oregon. Old Apple, Ontario. Pink Lady, Australia, since early 1970s, Eastern United States, Brazil. Red Delicious, Iowa, since 1870, and elsewhere in the United States, Argentina, Chile. Rome Beauty, Ohio, since the early 1800s. Willie Sharp, Brazil. Winesap, United States. Worcester Permain, United Kingdom. Among the most consumed varieties in Portugal, the following stand out. Gala. John Golden Red. Spur. Green Doncella. Rianita. Golden Delicious. Star Crimson. Starking. Fuji. In Portugal, only the Maca Bravo de Asmolf has, since 1994, a protected designation of origin, PDO, defined in the legislation of the European Union, EU. With regard to the protected geographical indication, PGI, there are four recognized varieties, Apple of Alcabaca Barra Alta Apple Covid de Barra Apple and Portaliger Apple. Cultural Aspects Germanic Paganism In Norse mythology, the goddess Iduna is portrayed in the Prosetta, written in the 13th century by Snorri Sturluson, as the purveyor of apples to gods who give them eternal youth. English academic Hilda Ellis Davidson says that religious practices with apples were developed in Norse mythology. She points out that buckets of apples were found on the Osberg ship in Norway, and that the fruits and nuts, Iduna having been described as being turned into a nut in Skaldskaparmal, were found in the tombs of early Germanic peoples in England and other parts of Europe, that it may have had symbolic meaning, and that walnuts are still a symbol of fertility, in southwest England. Davidson noted a link between apples and the Vanir, a tribe of gods associated with fertility in Norse mythology, citing an example of eleven golden apples being given to Wu the beautiful Gair by Skirner, who was a messenger to the chief gods. Davidson also notes a further connection between fertility and apples in Norse mythology in Chapter 2 of the Volsunga Saga when the main goddess Frigg sends King Ririr an apple, Frigg's messenger, in the form of a crow, drops an apple on your lap while he stands on top of a hill. The consumption of the apples results in the pregnancy of Ririr's wife, later giving birth to the hero Volsungo. Furthermore, Davidson points out the strange expression Apples of Hell used in an 11th century poem by the Skelt Thorbjorn Brunarsson. She claims that Skald might have thought apples were the food of the dead. Furthermore, Davidson notes that the Germanic goddess Nilnia is sometimes depicted with apples. Davidson claims that while apple cultivation in Northern Europe stretches back to at least the time of the Roman Empire and reached Europe from the east, native apple varieties are small and bitter. Davidson concludes that in the figure of Iduna we must have a pale reflection of an old symbol, that of the goddess guardian of the life-giving fruit of the other world. Greek Mythology In Greek mythology, apples appear in many religious traditions, often as a mystic or a forbidden fruit. One of the problems with identifying apples in religion, mythology and popular legends is that the word apple was used as a generic term for all foreign fruits. For example, in Greek mythology, the Greek hero Heracles, as part of his twelve labors, was required to travel to the Garden of the Hesperides and take the golden apples from the Tree of Life. The Greek goddess of discord, Eris, was dissatisfied after she was excluded from the marriage of Peleus and Thetis. In retaliation, she threw a golden apple at the wedding party. The apple was considered, in ancient Greece, the symbol of love. The Forbidden Fruit in the Garden of Eden 
Although there is no specification of the forbidden fruit in the book of Genesis, popular Christian tradition held that it was an apple that Eve persuaded Adam to share with her. In Latin, the word apple and evil are similar, malum, an apple, malum, an evil, a misfortune. This may also have influenced the apple to become the forbidden fruit. The larynx in the human throat has been called Adam's apple. The apple is also a symbol of sexual seduction. Isaac Newton's Fruit It cannot be said with certainty that the story that Newton was sitting under an apple tree and an apple fell on his head is true, but what happened hypothetically made the scientist aware of the existence of the force of gravity. The Apple and Apple the electronics brand Apple has adopted the Apple as a registered trademark. The Apple bike was introduced into the design so it wouldn't be confused with a cherry. The name Macintosh, one of the company's products, is inspired by the Macintosh type of Apple. Red, variety common in the United States. Nutrition. The saying an apple a day keeps the doctor away shows the effects of Apple on health. The quote was created in the 19th century in Wales. Research has revealed that apples can reduce the risk of colon cancer, prostate cancer, and lung cancer. Compared to many other fruits and vegetables, apples contain relatively low amounts of vitamin C, but are a rich source of other antioxidant compounds. Thus, reduce the risk of colon cancer. They can also help with heart disease, weight loss, and help control cholesterol. The fiber contained in apples lowers cholesterol by preventing reabsorption, and, like most fruits and vegetables, they are bulky for their caloric content. However, apple seeds are mildly poisonous, containing a small amount of amygdalin. She is usually not strong enough to pose danger to humans, but she can kill birds. There is evidence from experiments where it was allegedly confirmed that apples have phenolic compounds that may be protective against cancer. The predominant phenolics in apples are quercetin, epicatechin, and procyanidin. B2. In addition to the aforementioned benefits, you will find other important nutrients and vitamins in the apple, which will undoubtedly contribute to your health, increasingly promoting your well-being and confirming the sentence quoted above an apple a day keeps the doctor away. The fibrous tissue contained in the fruit is highly rich in adenine and guanine micromolecules, responsible for the synthesis and, consequently, the reabsorption of lymphatic material, which leads to an improvement in the conditioning and integrity of the blood and respiratory flow. Of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine in mice, providing a potential mechanism for preventing the decline in cognitive performance that accompanies dietary and genetic deficiencies and combating aging. Other studies have shown a reduction of oxidative damage and cognitive decline in rats after eating apple juice. Researchers at the University of Hong Kong found that flies that were fed an apple extract lived 10% longer compared to other flies. The 13 Health Benefits of Apple The apple is a fruit with great amounts of carotenoids and flavonoids, bioactive compounds with antioxidant properties, which help prevent some diseases such as diabetes, cancer, cardiovascular disease, and Alzheimer's. In addition, the apple is rich in fiber and has a low glycemic index, helping to prolong satiety and decrease the desire to eat throughout the day, promoting weight loss. There are different types of apple, such as green, gala or fuji, which can be eaten raw or used in preparations such as fruit salad, smoothies, jams or in savory preparations, such as salad or vinaigrette. The apple peel can also be used to prepare teas. The main benefits of regular apple consumption are 1. Prevents cardiovascular diseases. Apples are rich in pectin, a type of fiber that reduces the absorption of fats, helping to reduce blood cholesterol levels and preventing cardiovascular diseases such as heart attack, atherosclerosis, or stroke. In addition, the apple has flavonoids and carotenoids, bioactive compounds with antioxidant action that prevent the oxidation of fat cells helping to balance the levels of bad cholesterol, LDL, in the blood. 2. Prevents and balances diabetes. The apple has good amounts of polyphenols, compounds with antioxidant action that protect the cells of the pancreas against damage caused by free radicals, improving the function of the hormone insulin and preventing insulin resistance and diabetes. By having great amounts of fiber, the apple also decreases the absorption of sugar, promoting balance in blood glucose levels. Check out other fiber-rich fruits.
3. Facilitates weight loss. The apple is rich in fiber and water that help to prolong the feeling of satiety for longer, which reduces the desire to eat throughout the day and promotes weight loss. In addition, apples are low in calories, making them a great option to include in weight loss diets. See how to include the apple in the diet. 4. Fight constipation. The apple contains celluloses, hemocelluloses, lignans and pectins, fibers that help increase the absorption of water in the intestine, aiding in the formation and elimination of stools. In addition, the apple contains pectin, a prebiotic fiber that serves as food for the beneficial bacteria in the intestine, balancing the intestinal flora and helping to combat constipation. 5. Balances blood pressure. The apple is rich in potassium, a mineral that facilitates the elimination of excess sodium from the body through the urine, helping to balance blood pressure. The antioxidants present in good amounts in apples also help maintain the health of arteries and improve blood circulation, preventing high blood pressure. 6. Helps in the treatment of gastritis and ulcers. Apple fibers, especially pectin, help form a gel that protects the stomach lining, neutralizing the damage caused by excess stomach acid, helping to treat gastritis and gastric ulcers. Catechins and carotenoids, bioactive compounds present in apples, also have antimicrobial properties, which can help fight helicobacter. Pylori, a bacterium responsible for gastritis, ulcer, and stomach cancer. 7. Prevents cancer. The polyphenols present in apples have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory action that prevent damage caused by excess free radicals to cells, helping to prevent some types of cancer, such as lung, breast, and colon. Check out more foods that help prevent cancer. 8. Helps prevent cavities. The apple contains good amounts of malic acid, a compound that increases the production of saliva, inhibiting the multiplication of bacteria responsible for the formation of bacterial plaque and helping to prevent cavities. See other recommendations to prevent cavities. 9. Prevent Alzheimer's. The apple contains flavonoids such as quercetin, which have antioxidant action, protecting the cells of the central nervous system against free radicals and preventing Alzheimer's. In addition, the flavonoids present in apples improve blood circulation and prevent inflammation in brain cells, improving memory and preventing dementia. See other foods that improve brain health. 10. Delays premature aging. Because it is rich in antioxidants, apples are a great option to prevent damage caused by free radicals on the skin, preventing sagging and wrinkles. In addition, the fibers present in apples prevent the formation of advanced glycation products, ages, compounds produced in the body with excessive consumption of foods with a high glycemic index, such as white bread, sweets or cakes, which cause inflammation and premature aging. 11. Helps fight anxiety. Prebiotic fiber that serves as food for the beneficial bacteria in the intestine, contributing to the maintenance of the health of the intestinal flora, essential to combat and prevent anxiety. 12. Strengthens the immune system. By having good amounts of carotenoids and flavonoids, compounds with antioxidant and anti-inflammatory action, apple helps protect and improve the functions of immune system cells against infections and avoid situations such as flu and colds. 13. Prevents asthma and rhinitis. Apple contains quercetin, a flavonoid with potent immunomodulatory action that strengthens immune system cells and inhibits cells that cause inflammation, helping to prevent asthma, rhinitis, and bronchitis. How to consume the apple. The apple is a fruit with a flavor that varies from sweet to acidic and can be consumed raw, and preferably with the skin, or it can be consumed for dessert or breakfast. In addition, the apple can also be used in preparations such as juices or salads and the fruit peels can also be used in the preparation of teas. Like the nature of the Amazon channel, I ask you again to subscribe and activate the bell leave your lay to strengthen the nature of the Amazon channel and share it with your friends and family so they can get to know our history of knowledge and I say goodbye hereby.